Hey guys, welcome back. So, as I promised, we're going to do third grade math. And I'm going to talk about the rules of symmetry. Okay. So, as I promised last video, I was going to create a video of rules for the shapes I talked about in the last video. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with our first shape, the square. Alright, here we go, we have a square. So, the square has one rule, has a few rules. So, I'm going to draw those out. So, the square has about four lines of symmetry. And these blue lines are the lines of symmetry. So, I'm going to write out that rule. Okay, um, okay, so a square has four lines of symmetry. That's all you need to know for a square. So, that's it, let's go on to our next shape. Alright, so our next shape is going to be a rectangle. Alright, so a rectangle has similar rules to a square. So, we, I'll, draw, I'll draw out the lines of symmetry for a rectangle. One, two, and that is all. Those are the only lines of symmetry that a rectangle has. So, the rule for rectangles is that rectangles... only have two lines of symmetry that's the only rule for rectangles let's go on to our next shape all right so our third shape is gonna be a circle and a circle is a bit unique because it has infinitely many lines of symmetry that means we can't count the number of lines of symmetry there are I can keep drawing lines but I'm not gonna because a circle has infinitely many lines of symmetry so I'm gonna write that out circles have infinitely many lines of symmetry all right let's go on to our last shape all right so our last shape is gonna be a triangle so I'm gonna draw that out right now all right so this is our triangle and our triangle has three lines of symmetry one two and three that is it those are the only lines of symmetry that the triangle has so our rule for triangles is that we have triangle have three lines of symmetry and that's it so that's all for this video guys, so thanks for watching and have a great day.